Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy on Dead Arts here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple shockwave in After Effects using trap code form. Alright, now what you want to do if you don't have After Effects open is open After Effects. Once you do that, you want to go over here where it says the project manager, right click new composition, and make it roughly two seconds long. Wait for that to load. Our right, next switch you want to do is um, create a black solid by either right clicking down here, new solid, or control Y. It should come up with this and it should automatically be black. I'm going to do the control Y method. Our right, next switch you want to do is go over here to effects and presets, type in form. Alright, you scroll down the bottom you should see trap code form. Alright, next thing you want to do is go to base form, set the type to box, uh, not box, sphere layered. And if you want it to render faster, set these resolutions to quarter. Alright, next thing you're going to do is make the particles in X 700. And the particles in Y. 700. Alright. Next what you want to do is set the size. X and Y to 0. And keyframe them. Alright now what you want to go around 1 second in. Set the size for the X and Y to 2,000. No, no. I do, you do not. Set the size for X and Y to 2,000. Now go to the end. Set the size to 20, 2600. Alright, if you want to make sure your keyframes are where they need to be, like mine aren't, you just hit U to bring up your keyframes. And it should bring up the keyframes that you have made. Now excuse me while I fix my mistake. Two thousand. Now excuse me while I close up my Cinema 4D because it may be making me lag. Also, while I close out my Skype. Okay, then. Next, what you want to do is go to Fractal Field. Set the Displace to 69. Go to sphere layers and set it to either one or two. I'm going to do two. Alright, then click on the black solid. Hit U. Hold down shift. Then hit T. Press home on your keyboard. Keyframe the opacity at the first set of keyframes. Go to the second. Make it 75. And go to the end. And make it zero. That way you have a gradual fade instead of it just you know, ending. So, hopefully this doesn't take too long to pre-render. It normally doesn't. 
But if it does, then oh well, I could just fix that in video editing. Oh yeah, by the way, if you want like tutorials like this to become a regular series on my channel, just let me know down in the comments. And leave suggestions for what I should do next, like, you know, whatever you want. But yeah, this is basically a make simple shockwave. There's still a few of simple effects that we gotta add on and then I should be done. Now my goal is to make these tutorials in under 10 minutes. At least these sample tutorials like shockwaves in under 10 minutes, but you never know. Right, let's see how that looks so far. Right, that looks pretty good. Alright, next what you want to do is go to effects and presets and type in VC color vibrance. Hopefully it doesn't crash my After Effects. And it, oh my god, it didn't. Alright, next what you want to do is make it whatever color you want. For example, I'm going to do a yellow. Alright, next what you want to do after you do that is go to Shading. Actually, no, don't go to Shading. Go to Quick Maps. Map Opaque to Color. Op opaque plus Color over to radial and click the green gradient click the green gradient and make it a variation of a yellow gradient which is what I'm gonna do now this is just to give your shockwave that extra pop and make it look better An extra to undo if you do what I did and accidentally uh, hit Control Z is go back to that and um, that should basically be it. There may be one or two more effects that you can add, like for example, S underscore glow. But these effects are totally optional. You do not have to. But if you do want to use S underscore glow, I'd set the brightness to 1. And the color to whatever color you pick for the shockwave. For me, this would be yellow. Alright. I'm going to render this out. And I will end the video after it gets done rendering. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. But if it does, that's the magic of video editing. Also, I will leave a link, uh, download uh, link for this project file and the Shockwave in an MP4 format if you don't have trap code forms. But if you do, then I'll leave the project file down in the description. That way you could download it and play around with the Shockwave yourself and, you know, maybe uh, create something cool with it. Or make it your own version. Alright. So, yeah, looks like this is going to have to go in video editing, but, you know, oh well, because why not? Alright, I'm going to pause the recording until it gets done um, rendering, and I will be back once it gets done rendering. Alright guys, it's just about done rendering, so I'm going to go back into After Effects and that's what you get when you're done with the shockwave. Alright, well that's all I wanted to do in this video. Well, I guess this is Unnet Arts, and I'm out. Peace.